Okay, so I'm doing this video about my 2007 Toyota Prius. I was having problems with the P-Lock mechanism not working, the car not going into park for probably seven months or more. My mechanic couldn't figure it out. He thought it was the fuses and we changed the fuse out. Uh, kept the, trying to bypass it, didn't work. Took it to Toyota. Uh, they said it was the transmission control, uh, which is this here. And that is number 89535470020 for my Prius, but it pretty much works for all the Priuses from 2004 to 2009. Um, my mechanic accidentally changed out the engine control module instead. So uh, I've been spending a lot of money to try to finally figure it out. Toyota wants $975 for this. So I went to a junkyard, got one. Um, it was bad, I believe. I got another used one from somebody else uh, and I just put it in. And I'm doing this video because I looked for a good two weeks and I couldn't find a single video about where this was or how to put it in. So I'm going to show you in about 30 seconds. This should take you no more than five minutes. All right, let's go. Okay, so I already took out my glove box, but I just want to show you how easy it is. You open the glove box and you, you open the glove box and in here you press the two corners in and then you can pull it straight out like that. All right, now that your glove box is out the way, by the way, the only thing you're going to need is one Phillips head screwdriver. So underneath here, you see this little panel, you're literally just going to pull it out from both ends like that. Let's see if I can get there. Okay, so that's out, and now you can get underneath, and as you see here, that is the transmission control for Toyota, right here. So you're going to pull this out, there's a little clip here, push it in, and you pull the whole thing out, you'll see two bolts here. One here, that's either 10 millimeter or you can use Phillips. And then the other one here. You unscrew those, falls out. You see there's a little hook in here. It's no big deal, it just goes right in there. You put the new one in, you screw it back in, plug that back in, and then there you go. And then you just wanna do a restart on the computer or on your whole car and then it should refresh everything. And then when you're done, you just put the panel back. I'll do that in a minute, but you put the panel back in there. And then you put your glove box back in, that's it. So for all those having a hard time, and I've been driving the car past two hours and my P-mechanism lock light has not come back on yet. So I believe that fixed it. Um, but I would, if you check your battery, if your, your car battery is bad, I would get a new one. Uh, that seemed like I might have had some effect when I did that, even though it still kept turning off. Because uh, I would literally be at a stoplight, my car would turn off and wouldn't go in the park and I had to keep playing with it. So, so far that's working. So instead of spending uh, $950 for a brand new one at Toyota, you can get it. Um, the bad one I got is from a junkyard for $75 and I bought another one on Facebook actually from somebody for $35 and it seems to be working. So, good luck.